Greetings, people of the world! Matthew back with you here in Novora Autism for the continuation of this blind let's play of Earthbound. And this is actually the second time I'm recording this because I had absolutely no idea, of course this being a blind run, of what was going on. Because, as you see, the zombies in Threed are all heading towards the circus tent. The reason why they're doing this is because I kind of fluked my way into finding out why I could not get any zombies to be made to go over to where the circus tent was. Because in the last episode, Apple Kid, the inventor from Tucson, gave us a zombie equivalent of flypaper for us to use. We were asked to use it inside the circus tent, and so we put it in there, and then I was thinking I had to draw enemies that were zombies into the circus tent. Turns out that wasn't the case. So, when I went to go and recover at the hotel, the scene you just saw was triggered. So it turns out, I didn't need to do that at all. I didn't need to lure any zombies whatsoever. So, hello there. Uh, sir, you're working hard even though you're young. The guest newspapers that were delivered to the hotel today are different than normal. The paper is called the Zombie Herald. I'm scared, but let me tell you what's in it. Boogie Tent Falls! Young human to blame! <laughs> well, that's not the only thing that happened. Um, do I not go back in here? Um, okay. And I think I have a pretty good idea of what they're gonna say. Because, yeah, we've seen it before. Maybe, maybe his text is different, I really don't know. Anyway. We had to, I guess, go to sleep in order to make the zombies go in the direction of the circus tents, because that's where the zombie flypaper is. Um, let's go ahead and make our way to the circus tent right now, because I want to see if we actually got um, some significant progress, because we can see a whole bunch of people. Yeah, these are the people who were outside, or who were inside the tent last time. Yeah, we caught a lot of zombies! Ugh, it's pretty gross! Uh, you didn't catch them, I did. You might not understand my saying this, but poor zombies! <laughs> well, you could always bring out your guns and just end the pain and suffering now. I was able to arrest many zombies because of your help. You have that many handcuffs? Arrest sounds strange, doesn't it? Yeah, it does! We did it! Did you look in the tent? Yaha! We taught those stupid zombies a lesson! Ah, the people of Threed and their delusions. Let's go inside. Yeah, there they all are. And it looks like you can move, so you weren't affected. Those zombies stuck to the floor. I wonder if they could still get me. I don't care what happens to anyone else, I just want to save my own skin. I'm sure you do. What about you, sir? Zombie paper really works. So, I hope someone comes up with pretty girl paper, and I really don't like where you're going with that. No. Um, yeah, Nintendo, for a 1995 game, why? Can we talk to the zombies? You're the enemy of all zombies! You monster! Hey, it's not my fault you turned into zombies. You humans are such cowards! <laughs> Hey, I just fluked my way into this one. I had no idea. But now that we've actually gotten that to happen, I want to check my inventory again because I want to take... Um... Well, I might not even need healing items at this point. Um... Because, yeah, I think I do have a few still. I could also... It would also help if um, the broken air gun was fixed. That would help. Like, why doesn't... Oh, there are still zombies around! Oh, okay. Oh, I wasn't expecting to actually still be fighting zombies. I guess you were the strays that got uh, got away and didn't get suckered into the tent. But yeah, back-to-back -back crit hits takes care of you, but am I gonna get taken care of by this? No. That has to be- that Brain Shock A has to be the worst ability in the game because it never works. Like, what's the point of an ability that doesn't work? It's like casting an instant death attack on an enemy. It never works. Yeah, R RPGs just... There's no point for an RPG to create something like a um, instant death attack because those things never work. They have to be among the most redundant and pointless abilities that there are, and I do have enemies to fight over here. 
So, we're gonna take it out on the smelly ghost and its friends. Let's go ahead and... Because I know that some um, mouse is gonna be a little on the weak side when it comes to physical attacks. So let's have her squeeze the ghost. And... 153. It's solidified. Ow, really? Curse you. Twice. I uh, couldn't seal the deal there. A freeze A should finish off the ghost, I hope. I hope. And... Got it. That goes one fly. And the other one's still attacking. Oh, come on, Steven. Tell you we're not that enough when it comes to attacking a fly. I mean, your friends can't hit the fly. Yeah, redemption achieved! Redemption achieved as Dane goes up to level 18. Alright. It's a shame that, um, the rest of my party, um, doesn't have healing abilities that, so far, Steven is the only one who has them. And I think I'm pretty much have resigned to the fact that Dan has no magical abilities whatsoever. I think I have to I think I have to accept this as fact. That he's never going to have a spell to use. But even then, in games like Lunar, for example, like um, there were physical attacks as well that used PP that used MP. So, the fact that they don't have something like that in a game like this, perhaps is a bit of a surprise, but it, it was still, I guess, something that was considered alien for the time. Huh, no, no pun intended, based on what we're dealing with as the main enemies in this game, ultimately, because we know that there's going to have to be aliens that we're going to have to deal with later, as Mal goes up to level 20. And got a pretty good stat boost in more than one spot, so yeah. Very good, indeed. Alright, let's do this. We finally get the opportunity to go down this ladder. No zombies blocking our path. Let's do it. Yeah, going down. We're going way down. This is going to be pretty hard, I'm quite sure. <coughs> yep, zombies are definitely on the prowl here. They're even zombie dogs by the looks of it. Ugh, yeah, I could be in a bit of trouble here. Well, let's see what we're dealing with. Ow, poison! Oh, uh, yeah, this is... I could already be in trouble. Turn to the dust of the earth. Thankfully, Maud was not attacked. Um, Steven, you need to heal. Actually, wait a minute. I have... Keep attacking, because Mal still has food on her person, so... Yeah. Oh, crap. Yeah, the gate, the gate. Okay, wasn't poisonous this time. We did win the fight. So, with that in mind, let's go ahead and um, use my Psy healing on Mal. Are you serious? So, I'm, unlike before, I'm actually burdened with poison. That is not cool, unless healing B is like an enhanced version, and there we go. Okay, I have to use healing B. Uh, do I dare try and open this casket, or is there no point? Oh, you can open it. And it's a skip sandwich DX. Da 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 all right, moving on. A skip sandwich DX. And if you're not done with that, we've got two words for ya. All right. Go ahead and use a little more healing to boost up Dan. Back to Max. And another zombie pair. And Dan gained a level in that last battle. All right. Using life up again to give Mal a boost. So what's in this casket? We have a silver bracelet. Alright. Let's see what my stats are, because I want to um, see who needs it most. 
39 on defense. 38 on defense. Wow. Six level variance, but on defense, very close between Steven and Mel. And for Dan, he is at 37. Okay, so let's go ahead and give the silver bracelet to um, Dan. And then Dan can be equipped with it. Actually, is it even a good idea to give it to um, Dan? Because... Actually, you know what? I changed my mind. I want to give it to... I want to give it back to Mal because... Yeah, considering she has died the most in battles against bosses, keeping it on Mal might be a better idea. So let's go ahead and equip it to her. And she gets a five-point jump. Fine with me. Move on. Oh, and this time we get ghosts. Are these the same ghosts from before? Okay, it is. It's the same zombie possessors we've seen before running amok in the graveyard. Um, I'm gonna... No, not that. I'm going to sci-fire these guys. Yeah, sci-fire seems to definitely be a good... Oh, you actually... So you actually can possess me, and fire has no effect. Damn. Um, and so I guess I'm gonna have to, um, recover myself here. <coughs> In the meantime, is there anything that works on at all on these guys? Little tiny ghost we just left out his hand, and yeah, Steven's attack is cancelled. And yeah, Steven's already possessed here. Alright, we got- so freeze is the preferred method of choice here, so... Yeah, let's try that again. And Psy Freeze. I only need Psy Freeze A. Where's the little tiny ghost? Are they referring to the one that's currently possessing Steven right now? Well, we won the battle. And that's what matters the most. Alright. And is that the outline of a ghost that's currently just hovering around? Well, anyway, let's get rid of this. What? Are you serious? Come on, people. That is dumb. Um, I don't have a... I don't have a croissant on Mel anymore. So let's give this to Dan. So what the heck am I supposed to do now? Because, yeah, this... Go I think that ghost that's currently hovering around us is the one that's currently possessing Steven. Wow, you didn't even give me a chance. Alright, moving on. And Mal was possessed in the previous fight, and it looks like we got something new. York, York? Since you had fly honey, I had considered you a friend. But actually, you're just a commoner. I am the mortal enemy of your kind. Wait, this is a boss duel? The mini barf? Yeah, it looks like barf alright. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of a redundant statement. Um, let's see here. Um, should I just go all out? Because I know that the Psy Freeze will definitely go a long way as far as helping us out. Um, let's go just see if we can go full throttle here, because, yeah, if this is a boss duel, this is a much shorter place than I thought it was. And Dan's attack is cancelled. And the freeze does nothing on this guy. Alright, so let's do that. Let's switch things up and go with fire. Is it weak to fire? Again? Alright, better. Then to the terrible odor and I lost offense. Yeah, it doesn't help when I'm being possessed by ghosts and I can't perform an exorcism. Like, I wouldn't even know where to go to get an exorcism unless I have to go to the hospital or something. Uh Well, since we know this works to some extent, how will Thunder fare? Then work on Steven. And no score. Yeah, I should I should have learned my lesson there. Alright, keep going. Yeah, because we're not really being damaged all that much. In fact, I don't even think this thing is even attacked at all. Alright, fire again, and do this again. 
Doesn't work on Steven. And 82 points. Only Steven's scoring. Steve could not stop crying. Mal could not stop crying. Dan could not stop crying. It didn't work on the ghost. Okay, well I know for a fact that it reduces my accuracy. Um, but I also know for a fact that magic is exempt. So uh, your purpose is really much to more or less to be a nuisance than anything else. Yeah, because my main attack curse aren't going to get much in terms of scoring. So yeah, I really don't need to worry about taking damage here. This is just more of a nuisance boss than anything else. Let's go ahead and Psy you it then. We'll use more Psy Fire in the meantime. Then try and hit something for me, would you? Oh, never mind, we win. Victory is ours. And we got 2,507 experience from an enemy that really did nothing. And by succeeding, Mal is now up to experience level 21. And she also gets offense up A. Dan also gained a level, he's now 20. And he's still getting his stat increases in very small increments. I wanted to get your fly honey and gulp it down. Master Belch and I love fly honey, Georg Georg. I'm sure you do. Yeah, we've heard of Ma Master Belch before, but we still don't know who this guy is yet. Hello there. Can you exercise me, please? You must have a long, tough road ahead of you, do you not? No, there's no need to explain, I know. You must be hungry. This is good timing for you. I happen to be carrying something to eat. What would you like? Oh, what? <laughs> Seriously? And there's no ATM around. Crap. Uh, I don't know. Will a cup of coffee help me out? <laughs> um, let's have Steven buy it. Um, interesting people go ahead just to get there and go get a good rest. I heard that the name of this village is Saturn Valley, but it cannot be found on any map. I enjoy helping those who are in trouble. Well, I'm currently in trouble right now, though I charge them for my trouble. Sure you do. Butterfly! 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 Pretty little butterfly! Alright, did that help me as far as my... Um, no, of course not. Because the ghost is still circling us. To no end. And we've got new enemies to fight. So, looks like we're gonna be picking on frogs now. Armored frogs, to be precise. Let's swing for the fences and see what happens. Crit hit from Al. And no score from the frog. So where's your armor anyway? I don't quite see where your armor is. What the? Okay, so you steal PP. Good to know. And Mal's cancelled out. Well, I can see why this guy is armored, because he really is not taking much in terms of damage. Um... Should I amp up my game here a bit? Um, let's go with Psy Freeze A. And Steven's still taking damage from the ghosts. Let's put you on ice. Good call. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling it would be weak to that. And Steven is now up to 27 with a huge jump on offense. And on HP, too. He gets Hypnosis Omega? Interesting. Ooh, more snakes, or rather more frogs, and more um, zombies to worry about. Oh, yeah. I think everyone's gonna get in on this fight. Yeah, I, I could be in a bad way against these guys. Well, we, we, could, we do have Psy UB, so let's go ahead and use that. And, um, well, we do still have Psy Fire. Um... Okay, we know for a fact that zombies aren't affected by fire, so we're gonna have to use it on the front. Um, attack the zombie here. Okay, thankfully I was not solidified by in any way. And, ouch. Defense down A, what? How bad? Well, not all that bad. Take that! Back to the dust of the earth you go! That's two down! That's three down! Clean sweep! Nice! Clean sweep and 1500 experience points! 
Steven getting it done for the team. Ooh, but there's still a lot more to go in this gauntlet. Yeah, if I can just get the three of you together, that'd be nice. And in the last part, we got a broken spray can, which we can use for the defense spray if we get an opportunity for Dan to do that the next time we take a rest. And Dan gained another battle, another level in that battle. What's in this little gift box? There is a bomb. <laughs> Not the Final Fantasy style of bomb, I hope. You know what, I never found out what was down there, but I guess I can always go back off camera to find out. And Mal gained a level in that battle. Okay, so we need to give a little healing to Miss Mal. Alright, onward. This is a long path to go. At least we're picking up gifts along the way. Oh, butterfly over there! A protein drink. <coughs> Is that for... Well, I'm wondering just what the extent of your... Um, the assistance you get would be, so... Yeah, anyway, you guys just went into me, that's fine. And sadly, we lost Dane in that battle, and now... Oh, boy. I think we may still have to go through a cave yet. Thing is... I'm so far away now, like... I don't even know where the next town is. I don't know if I have to go up to get to it or if I have to go through the cave to get to it. Oh boy. Yeah, this really worries me a lot. I'm thinking I may have to go back because I'm not looking all that good right now in terms of my stats because I'm pretty much running out of everything and there is stuff that I should probably have in hindsight given to a Scargo Express before making this journey. So I'm going to go... As painful as this is, I may be forced to have to go back to Threed and try and get myself an opportunity to either get stuff back because, yeah, with Dan dead, I really can't do much with him. And given how far I still have to go, I'm worried I might not be able to survive. So, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling really bad right now that I wasn't aware that I needed more money to take with me. Uh, this this could be a bad way, so I'm gonna try and make it back to three. If I game over, so be it. I don't have the much money to begin with, but I would still like to try and get everyone back and then try and get back to this spot as soon as possible. So we're gonna end the episode here, and then in the next episode, hopefully we can get a little further than where we are now without anyone dying. So with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the continuation of this Blind Let's Play of Earthbound. And when I join you again, we will return to this spot and continue on our way to the next village, wherever it may be. So until next time, everyone, this is Matthew and Navarro Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.